What's going on guys? Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with an unboxing for you of the Intel 3930K. This is a fully unlocked processor dubbed, you know, by that K in the actual processor's name, which basically means that this guy was born and bred to be overclocked. Now this is a socket 2011 CPU and yes, we will be using this in a Hackintosh. Now if you're going to build a socket 2011 system, First of all, you have to be willing to drop a decent amount of money, and unfortunately, this is not my machine. This is a client's build, which I will be live streaming. More details to come in the near future on that. But uh, not only do you have to be willing to spend a lot of money, you also have to be willing to accept the fact that a couple things will not work within OS X namely being speed step. Speed step is basically what kind of dynamically controls the frequency of this processor. Now this processor is clocked at I believe, uh, let's see here, 3.2 gigahertz stock. So say for example you overclock this guy to 4 gigahertz. Without speed step enabled you will be running at 4 gigahertz no matter what you're doing. Even if your system is idling and doing nothing it will still be at 4 gigahertz. Whereas normally, if your system's idling, it'll clock it down to say maybe 1.8. And that will you know, keep your temperatures down. It may even extend the life of the CPU. Now, it will be liquid cooling this, uh, you know, not like a full on liquid cooling system, but we will be using a Corsair H80i liquid cooler with this. So it should be keeping it nice and cool. But you know, little things like that within OS 10 will not work. There are also a couple things, you know, just the overall power management. But uh, for what I've seen, it's really not an issue if you're willing to accept a, a, you know, a couple things not working. So just really quick, here's another look around the box. Uh, right here, 3930K. Once again, K fully unlocked and unleashed, as it says right down there. Moving over here, we have some more uh, information about the processor. I don't know if you could really see that all that well. Uh, on the back, you can see how big the CPU is. I mean, if you've built yourself a machine before, and you say work with like a socket 1155, this is a fair bit bigger. I mean, because it has, you know, about 500 more pins on it. Um, so definitely a, a pretty gargantuan processor. I have a socket 1366, and I thought that guy was big. This is the biggest processor I think I've ever seen. But you know what? I'm sick of rambling. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. So here we are up close and personal with the 3930K. K of course meaning unlocked and unleashed, which means this chip was born and bred for overclocking, which is very good to hear. As you can see, LGA 2011, and I don't think I mentioned it in the intro, this is a six core processor in case you didn't know that. Not a quad core, so we're gonna be getting six cores, 12 threads when you know, of course hyper threading, which is great for video intense applications, things like that that take advantage of it. So this is gonna be a pretty straightforward unboxing, which I'm sure you guessed when you just saw the name of this video, but I figured it's something you guys wanted to see regardless so here we go up close there uh, 12 megabytes of cache 130 watt processor so there you go there's that ginormous CPU again that I mentioned much bigger than a 1366 much much bigger than an 1155 so pretty beefy CPU there factory seal and we're back to the front nothing too crazy so as usual I have my Hackintosh juice knife ready to help me demolish this factory seal go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for the Hackintosh juice knife I think he deserves it we've been through a lot together and this is very much like a, uh, a Xeon box in that it doesn't come with a, uh, you know, a CPU cooler of its own. This is literally just the processor and the instruction book and some cardboard, and that's all. So as you can see right here, you get a nice sticker for your case as usual. Uh, but uh, if you want to go ahead and read that, break this little uh, sticky circle of death there, feel free to do that. But uh, of course, I will not be doing that. And here's the CPU. So I guess you have to kind of demolish the cardboard to get at the CPU and once again once you hold this thing in your hand especially with the plastic around it this thing is just gargantuan on the back there you can really see how many more little uh, pins it has than you know say an 1155 or a 1366 but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll see if I can get a nice close-up on this without my skull poster reflecting onto it too bad actually I think it's upside down so yeah I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it there you go so there's the writing on top of the CPU, but of course we're going to be using the uh, Corsair H80i, so you won't be able to see that writing. Slab some thermal paste on the most expensive component of the computer, and you're good to go. So there you guys go. That was just a pretty quick unboxing of the 3930K from Intel. Like I said, a six-core processor on the 2011 chipset, or sorry, 2011 socket rather. Be throwing this in a pretty nice motherboard, having a pretty awesome system. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and be sure to stay tuned to me on Twitter for when I do live builds and things like that. Like I said, I'll be doing one with this processor right here. It's going to be pretty awesome. You should definitely stop by. And uh, once I have the details, they'll be down there in the description. And I'll see you guys back here on my channel very soon.